Obsidian note-taking tutorial for beginners. Best note-taking software. Hi guys, welcome back and for today's video, I will be showing you the easy step-by-step -step tutorial of Obsidian note-taking software. The best note-taking app. You can link all your ideas using this app. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is the Obsidian homepage. And Obsidian doesn't require you to create an account to download and use their app. You can just simply download their application and use it. So to download, you just need to click Get Obsidian for Windows, also available for Mac OS user and Linux. Once downloaded, just install it to your PC and open the app and you'll be seeing this. So from here, you can see you have three options to open folder as vault, create new vault, and open help vault. So here from open help vault, this is more on demo and help. And you can open folder if you have an existing folder. And you can create new vault. Let's just create new vault. And here we can name our vault. And... Uh, Choose the location where you want to save this vault in your folders or in your computer. Let me choose it here. Save to my documents. And then just create. Now we can see our dashboard here. So in our dashboard here is, is to add new note and to add new folder. And we can add our folder here. And as you can see, the ar this arrow one, it means that this is a folder and without an arrow, it's note. And we can change also the sort order. If you have a lot of um, note here, then you can sort the order A to Z, something like that. And here you can see the search icon. This is when you search file or tags if you have already added a lot of notes for you to easily locate your file. And on the left side corner, you have another tabs for open quick switcher if you want to um, get a quick switch to a different folder. And also you can open some graph view. So you can we can check this one later on once we already added some notes. Next icon is for command. You can see a different command here. You can see save, save current file. You can make use of control S and, and other functions. And the last one is for markdown format importer. So this is where you can find the format that you can um, apply here in this platform. So let me just close it so that we can start. So first, let's uh, rename our folder and our note. So just give me a moment. So let's rename our note as um, January plans for YouTube. All right, so we created now our note here. So so let's start taking some notes. So let's just say we would like to add header on our note. So to add header on our note, we just need to add hashtag and then space, just like this. And then you can also add some subheaders. You just need to add two hashtags and then space for second header. And you can also add third header for three hashtag, four hashtag for four headers up to six headers. Next, let's create link. So let's say to do. Let's add here how to start YouTube channel for beginners. And to create link, you just need to add brackets. Two brackets and then just hover your mouse to this link and then press the control key for Windows user and 
come wind for Mac user. And you will see here that the link is not yet created. So just click to start adding your notes or your script to this link. Alright, so now we are being redirected to this new note. So we can start adding our note here or script. So again, just add hashtag then space to create headers and then just write your script. You can also add some hashtags so that you can easily search or locate your uh, folder when you have a lot of notes added here or more folders. All right, and let's um, add another link again. So again, just add two brackets for you to create the link and then just hover your mouse and press the command or the control key and then just click here and you will be redirected to new notes and you can start writing your script or your uh, notes for this link. So next, if you like some of your notes to be italic, then you can do this. So if you want to highlight statement in italic, you can just add asterisk just like this. And if you want to bold some of your notes, then you can do this. If you want to get some attention, you can make bold of important information. Just add to asterisk. So now let's review your graph. So this is your graph now. As you can see, everything has been a link to your main note. So as you can see here, we have our main note, January plans for YouTube, and this one has been linked to two subtopic, which is the how to start YouTube channel and also the Bamboo HR tutorial. And here from groups, you can change the color of each dot. So let's just say for the main note, which is the January plans for YouTube, let's uh, make it green or light green. And you can just click new group if you would like to change the color of the other dot. So let's just say for the hashtag beginners, we're going to change the color to like white. And here on display, you can uh, play the, the text, change the size of the dots or link thickness. And by the way, you can also um, make numbers. So you just need to type number, dot, and then space for you to number your notes, like one, two, three, four. And also, if you would like to categorize it by adding some dots, then you can just um, add dash or hyphen and then space you can now have some dot to categorize your, or to organize your notes. All right, so let me go ahead and add some folders here. So let's add the 10 secret tips to save money. And I will be adding another link for this uh, new folder. And now you can see your graph here. Another group has been created here and everything has been uh, linked to their um, main topic. And yes, we can also uh, sort the order of your note. You can sort it to A to Z or from old to new. It depends on you. So I guess that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video.